um, I've always been busy as mm-hmm. I've always been busy. So in two, I get into this in 2000. Mm-hmm. In 2001, mm-hmm. I meet a lady called Connie Kibuti. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's doing an amazing job with leadership mm-hmm. and keeping the church accountable mm-hmm. in terms of politics and mm-hmm. leadership. Mm-hmm. And she's running this forum called uh, Emerging Young Leaders. Right. And somehow I find myself working with uh, Mr. Bees himself, Mr. Mm-hmm. Jason Bruno. Mm-hmm and Amani Maranga mm. and uh, Pastor Sam Mwaka mm-hmm. and we are doing great things for young people mm. so this is 2001 yes yes it was like a project mm. a program officer but also mm. doing a lot again mm. secretarial mm. Oh, first of all I didn't change when I get to day star mm-hmm. I'm typing my projects faster mm-hmm. so you know you have to understand right. life backwards yeah. for you to see how yeah. it goes forward <laughs> so um Uh, typing my projects faster mm. on a computer it's faster mm. can easily delete i don't mm. need whitewash mm. i am taking mm. my notes quicker because mm. i can write them in shorthand yeah so um so that secretary comes and pays back a, a lot, few months later do you go you know? back with with sunflower and just and say, and say tell your mother, a negative mother, i'm proud you. I do it in other forms. <laughs> 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 like wearing her nice things. Um but um yeah so mm. that 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 happens. So mm. then I'm in emerging young leaders mm. against secretarial comes to play because I'm formatting these documents, I'm helping write mm. proposals mm. and we did wonderful proposals that got funding so I'm mm. grateful for Connie mm. for that. Mm. And then again I'm still selling uh, paraffin mm. and uh, I, I mean now I have pockets of internship volunteering mm. at that time I get an opportunity also to continue working with uh, Kenwa mm-hmm. then the Kenya network of women with uh, it mm. uh, because again I was a first intern at I choose life mm. they start chapter mm. and I think I must have done a good job so Mike Mutungi needs to give me a raise <laughs> and I remember my many works um yeah so I continue with that mm. and then I get an opportunity mm. my my friend Janet Adongo advises me mm. to apply for UNHCR mm-hmm. um uh, internship mm. so I'm doing an non-academic internship mm. and I meet the lovely Mr. James Karanja mm. and uh, working with Zahara and mm. yeah just seeing now and my, my again my eyes are opened mm. to refugee crisis mm. to their lives mm. um to partners that mm. work with mm. you know understanding government government policies about refugees mm. Only years later, not years really, like maybe three or so years later, mm. I get to do um, my master's mm. so in... So you, you and it here... Was nine months. Was nine months. Yes. Were you, did you like go somewhere? Were you posted? No, I was in the Nairobi, the BO, the branch office. Yeah. Uh, yes, a lot of admin, but also mm. working a lot with urban refugees, mm, mm. which was an oxymoron mm. at the time. Mm. Um, yeah, but I think I visited Kakuma mm. once mm. and uh, or twice, mm. Mm. and yani, then you can imagine it was mm. really mm. a state. I mm. don't know how it is mm. now, mm. but again, my eyes are opened to mm. another mm. realm Reality. of mm. uh, development. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, so I do ni- ni- nine months. Mm-hmm. Actually, it wasn't years. I think my education has been in quick succession mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because as I'm finishing internship I'm also doing my masters mm. in armed conflict and peace studies right. and I get to write about urban refugee mm. women mm. um yeah so it just everything is kind of mm. aligning mm. the dots are now forming I the line yeah, yeah are, mm. are 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 adding mm. up mm. yeah mm. Oh, and while at it mm. um I think when I was just in in between my three months long holidays, mm-hmm. I get to study Spanish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, up mm-hmm. to intermediate level, so I can hear a bit mm-hmm. and and write a bit of Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, which I could use occasionally when I'm meeting people mm-hmm. either around in HCR mm-hmm. or just communities. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's I think about it. That that period is very intense. <laughs> it, it's very intense. It's very fast tracked. Mm. Uh, but it's also it also comes in with many um, many. You, it's 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 not just touch and go with 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 mm. a few of these things. Mm. It's um, so like you had at this season where you were with the Imagine Young, young Leaders. leaders yeah. You were a first time intern with. Uh, I choose life mm. you get this internship with um with UNHCR then you are doing your masters at the same time um all of this <coughs> it's shaping you it's it's shaping your mm. your 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 your, your um you, the, the sort of direction you will take mm. um at that point 
um, and I don't know what years those are, if you can compute uh, what the years are, is do you also have like, um, when all of that is coming like mm. to a culmination or uh, do you have like a gig or a, some employment or some work then that you then commit to, mm-hmm. um, to bring all of this together? Um, with during that period with, not mm-hmm. not really not like a formal employment mm-hmm. if i can remember mm-hmm. um but the pocket of like not the internship i'm doing mm-hmm. um i've now stopped selling uh fuel, fuel ke- kerosene, kerosene. Mm. i'm now helping my dad's business in town mm-hmm. so then again i'm meeting uh mm-hmm. more people mm-hmm. um and then not just the in- internships just uh coming together mm. because then mm. and my father warned me he'll tell mm. me the day you start earning money you'll never finish this master's mm. and true to his word the day i started mm. working within my 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 um during my master's mm. I, I i it took forever to it finish delayed. yeah i mm. delayed mm. so but i think the encouragement of people like uh i think is she called alice Deritu? i think she's uh mm. and you'll correct me if i'm wrong mm. she's a current um head at the office of the registrars mm-hmm. of part, political parties mm. and those are my classmates mm. you know mm. uh, james karaja as well mm. my boss at Unitiar is now my classmate mm. uh mm. at uh, university of nairobi well, i'm masters, grateful yeah. for amazing minds mm. even as i try and answer your question mm. um mr doc professor sinu vincent mm. sinu mm. was my supervisor mm. and his sons play rugby mm. oh mm. those the wonderful man mm. he pushed me to finish and finish with um with excellence mm. and they were other supporting lecturers mm. as as well mm. so i'm not having like a formal employment mm. that's giving me mm. money i get a stipend from mm. my father mm. but because i'm working for him mm. and with him mm. but i'm not getting all these things mm. which i think i've now come to play mm. um later mm. in in life uh, mm. much clearer mm. Mm. yeah your internship with i choose life is it the one that also culminated to, into the job yes mm. yes so i do the internship mm. again i do it well mm. i i do stuff well and mm. excellently mm. and um then they have to open i think it was at that season gosh the history has been long mm. uh they have to open um uh and work and partner because that's what I, I i choose life does mm. partner with a uh, university at mm. this point at this point it's a cooperative college of kenya mm-hmm. at the time mm-hmm. to open the aids unit mm-hmm. and i'm working there with um, jose akamanu mm-hmm. and a few other mm-hmm. guys mm-hmm. and um we open up the unit i worked i think for a year mm-hmm. at least normally i said checking in mm-hmm. the masters is not finished mm-hmm. you see i was warned mm-hmm. higher then they decide alas you're too good send you to Uh, Mombasa mm. so I then mm. worked at Mombasa Polytechnic mm. and uh, who was uh, my boss at Mombasa Kombe mm. Douglas Kombe was mm. uh, my boss mm. um, so we're just the two of us mm. so I'm doing again mm. admin mm. MND and mm. training mm. and then he's doing all the other mm. jobs mm. for mm. for that need I sell to be done mm. and we have a successful program mm. uh, but I couldn't stay for long mm. The weather was not agreeing with me mm. so around six seven months mm. later i am like mm. let me make like a bad check and bounce mm-hmm. and no i know mike no understands mm. uh but as i transition mm. out mm. uh my pastor mm. who still is my friend and my pastor but before you even transition out yeah well, and we'll take it from there what what during your period mm-hmm. at at cop and also at at uh, in mombasa what are those experiences and what what for you stands out um as a nice cl person and you, with your work there what what kind of impact are you having um you know within those institutions i think first on a selfish level mm-hmm. i'm being opened up to the coastal culture mm-hmm. which i mean has its own mm-hmm. interesting uh, dynamics mm-hmm. it's amazing to see young minds just you know mm-hmm. like a parachute open up mm-hmm. and receive this Uh, this training to change their behaviors mm-hmm. some of them even still talk to me today mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. keeping in touch mm-hmm. I- important to hear someone say mm-hmm. this was my 
Is this a children's song? Like this is was my sex life before, mm. but through this mm. I have changed mm. to this and mm. I'm committing to this. And mm. they mm. and they do that. Mm. Or if they, and you'll know a product is working mm. if you have people who come back mm. to it, either mm. to work with it, to mm. promote it, to mm. be ambassadors mm. for it. Mm. Mm.